everybody, welcome back to Silk Wheel of Morocco UK. This week I want to talk to you about volume. Getting volume in your hair is not as straightforward as you might think, and keeping it is even harder. Um, naturally our hair obviously will get greasier as the days go on post-wash. The, there are some tricks that you can stick to after you've washed your hair to actually help make your hair stay volumised a little bit longer. Things like, if you leave your hair to dry naturally, the natural greases will come out in your hair quicker. If you blow dry your hair, you'll have a drier, more volumed finish. So I would highly recommend doing that. Using too much product on your hair after you've washed it can also weigh it down quite quickly. So you're better off probably blow drying it with potentially just a bit of heat spray. You don't need to focus on the roots, you just need to focus on the ends because the ends are where you'll see the damage. So for example, if you've washed your hair and it's wet and you're about to blow dry it, just get some of our hair and skin treatment, rub it on your hands and just rub it into sort of the bottom quarter of your hair. Don't worry about the roots because the roots will be where your hair will, your, well, your scalp will emit greases and will be what naturally makes your hair deteriorate over the days post wash. So what you want to do is try and focus on that. You'll find that your hair won't be, won't have an issue with volume in the ends. It's normally just from here up because obviously we're touching our hair on our roots, we're brushing our hair on our roots and normally we're touching and putting up and doing things with our hair. So what I tend to recommend for people is that actually sort of day one you should be okay with volume. It should, you should post wash with a blow dry, it should be nice and volumed. Day two, if you're starting to feel it's not, you want to be giving it a bit of a bit of a massage and also put the blow dryer just through the roots and just give it a bit more volume. Day three, not necessarily everyone's day three happens because a lot of people tend to wash their hair every other day. Or I personally go on three days. I will wash my hair twice a week because it's so thick and so long and it takes so long to dry. It's easier that way. So I've just got myself into a routine with that. It's interesting to know that actually the more you wash your hair, the more your hair needs washing. So if you can leave it, you know, if you go off on holiday and you're not having to look nice every day for work, etc., let your hair get really dirty and it will start to self clean, which means you won't need to wash it as much when you get back. So that's just for kind of ease of use. And also the less you can wash your hair, the better it is for your hair. So day three, if you do get that far, we sell a volumizing dust, which is similar to the ones on the market that you spray in, but it's actually one that you sprinkle in. So what you want to do is lift up your top layers and just sprinkle the volumizing dust into the roots, massage them in so they kind of stick. They basically, without sounding really vile, they will stick the grease together. So you will lose the grease that will then be turned into the volume. So you will have more volume, more content at the roots of your hair, which will then lift the roots of your hair up, giving the appearance of more volume. It also helps to make your hair cleaner because the grease is taken off your hair. So it will mean that your hair will last a few days longer without washing. But you know, other than that, we have a volume shampoo and conditioner, which is really, really good for giving your hair great volume. The whole point of it is it's not full of products that are going to pull your hair down. It's a very light, clean shampoo and conditioner, so it will help to keep your hair lifted, which just means that your hair will last longer with more volume rather than third day in. For example, our, um, our repair shampoo and conditioner wouldn't be as great for volume. That's more for repair. There's a lot more in that to help repair your hair and moisturise it and hydrate it, which will inevitably give you more weight to your hair and stop there being as much volume. A lot of people don't need volume in their hair if your hair's thick. For example, mine is quite thick. I don't necessarily need volume unless it's day three of a wash and my hair is feeling a bit limp and a bit flat. Then I'll use some volumizing dust to lift it up. But this on the whole tends to be enough. If you want to get a little bit more volume, use the volumizing dust and then by day three, you'll still be looking like you've got volume in your hair. I hope that made sense to everyone. If anyone's got any questions, as always, pop them in the box below and don't forget to pop on over to our website and have a look at the products in the flesh. I will see you guys next week for another video. Bye.